Forests are complex and unique, with a diversity of tree species, set in varying landscapes and home to diverse wildlife and communities. They evolve over time, so when we create a forest plan, we think beyond a lifetime and follow a structured process that details a plan for the next 10 years. There are a number of stages in the creation of a 10-year plan. We start by reviewing the previous plan and checking the current condition of the forest. We look at previous policies and challenges and how they were applied and balanced against the natural potential of the land. From this, we can begin to identify the key issues to be addressed by the new forest plan. This analysis helps form the vision for the forest. This will include the trees, wildlife, water, geology, local heritage and history, as well as recreational use and the needs of the local community. We consult with experts and carry out field work to discuss all possible options in the plan. We then firm up the forest plan, identifying specific prescriptions to deliver the objectives and map it using specialist software. When the draft plan has been created, we place it online for public review, so everyone has the chance for their views to be considered and any necessary adjustments are made. Before being implemented, the plan has to be approved by the Forestry Commission, the regulatory body acting on behalf of the government. A 30-day consultation takes place to ensure the plan has taken all relevant factors into account, consulted with necessary parties and met regulations. When the forest plan is approved, it is published on the Forestry England website and can be viewed at any time. We then start work to turn the vision into reality. After five years, we carry out a review to check if the forest is evolving in line with the plan and evaluate if anything has changed that might affect what we do in the next five years. Before we begin the process all over again,